Hi folks, good morning. It's me, Christiana Gaudet, and I am here with your three-card weekly reading. Today's date is Monday, August 5th, and this reading will be for the 5th through the 11th. Before I get started, let me just uh, share some shameless uh, self-promotion here. I've got a few things going on that are interesting. For those of you in the Fort Lauderdale area, I will be available for private readings by appointment this Saturday at the Center for Inner Wisdom. Now, the following day, Sunday, the end of the week, August 11th, it's time for Cards and Conversation. That is our monthly meetup at Panera in Palm City. Hey, Jan, good morning. It's nice to see you. I see a few people coming into the room. I'm so glad you're all here. So... Uh, I am leaving, I guess it's like uh, the following week. Yeah, the following week, I'll be on an airplane to Connecticut. I will be in Connecticut for two weeks, uh, available for readings by appointment at True Bikram Yoga in Madison. I am doing a tarot class Sunday the 18th at 7 p.m. on the Court of the Minor Arcana at True Bikram Yoga. And I will be available for house parties, house calls, private readings, all throughout Connecticut, Rhode Island, and the general area thereabouts for two weeks, starting August 14th. Meanwhile, I'm available here in my Palm City office and from anywhere in the world by phone, Skype, FaceTime, and Messenger. So, happy to see you guys here. Let's see what the week holds. Those of you who have been following along, Remember that for the past two weeks, the Ten of Swords has figured prominently in our readings. And honestly, if we think about world events, or at least events here in the United States, there's some reason for that, you might think. Hey, Denise, nice to see you here. Glad you're here. So let's hope for a better reading this time. Let's see what we've got going on. And I'll let you know, I am using my trusty Morgan Greer. This is the borderless version that comes in the little tin. It is my workhorse deck right now. If you would like a copy of it for your very own, you can order it from my website, christianagodet.com. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Our first card, the chariot reversed. So... The chariot, of course, is about mastery. It can be about travel. It can be about transportation. It can be about forward motion. The fact that it's reversed is kind of interesting. I would see this as an admonition to really look and know where your mastery lies, to know where you're good, to know what you're good at, and to contemplate on that. This might also say that if you are getting ready to travel, as so many people do in August, take a minute and make sure you've got all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Hey, Joanne Matthew, nice to see you here. Uh, this might also speak to canceled trips or things not going exactly the way you planned. Hey, Kay, nice to see you. So let's see what comes next. The Page of Rods. We often refer to this too as the Page of Wands or Staves or Batons, depending on what deck you're working with. Neil Quatrano, so nice to see you. I hope to see you while I am in Connecticut. Okay, so the Page of Rods or the Page of Wands, this is really a card that speaks to your own expression that speaks to your own creativity. Pages are about youth, certainly, but they're also about communication and they're about study. This tells you to take time. And remember, in this uh, chariot reversed, we're taking time to think about where you're a master. With the page of wands, or in this case, the page of rods, we think about what you have to do to become a master. Now, here in Florida, we're getting ready for back to school. We go back to school early here. 
I know my friends in Connecticut still have a few weeks before they have to worry about that. But this is very appropriate for the back to school idea, not just for kids, but for we adults. That now is a good time to think about what you can do to cultivate your own mastery. How do you communicate your passion? How do you communicate your creativity? What study do you need to do in order to move that forward? Hey, Stephanie, nice to see you here. So what's our third card going to be? Ha! Huh, not the Ten of Swords. Hallelujah. Okay, another reversal and another major arcana reversed. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. So the star in its reversal asks about where you're not healed, where you're not fulfilled. What do you need to do to find healing? What do you need to do to find fulfillment? So let's look at what we've got here for the week. And it's kind of interesting. We have two major arcana cards that surround a court card. And both major arcana So what does that tell us? That tells us that the spiritual energy that we desire, the spiritual energy that we want and need, is available to us, but we have to work for it. Maybe we need to be more prayerful. Maybe we need to be more mindful to access the greater spiritual wisdom. Now, the page in the middle reminds us to honor the inner child, the page in the middle reminds us that we need to study, to learn, to communicate. That's what we have to do. That's the important part there. And so when we look at these three cards together, there is a sense that we may be dissatisfied. There may be some things going on in our lives, in our communities, whatever, things going on that we are not satisfied with. We need to take our time. We may not be moving forward quickly to solve those problems. We need to take our time. We need to assess the situation. We need to study. We need to bring our spirituality, our passion, and our creativity to the forefront to find the solutions. What we are looking for here is mastery, fulfillment, and healing. This week, we have the opportunity to start laying the groundwork to build that. Now, Wendy says this is incredibly timely for her and her situation, so that is great. Jinky, I'm doing a reading for all of us today, not for individuals. So, when we look at these three cards... Uh, Linda says, looks like I'm going back to school. Yeah, absolutely. Um, certification for recovery specialist, Penn State, here I come. These cards really support that, Linda. Very good. Betsy Young, so good to see you here from Michigan. So, what do you do? You can bemoan the fact that things are not moving forward as quickly as you could like, as you would like. You can be bemoan the fact that you are not completely satisfied, or you can do as Linda is doing. Either literally go to school, or in some spiritual, psychological, or emotional way. Learn what you need to learn. Study what you need to study. Communicate about what you need to communicate so that you can find your healing and your fulfillment and so that you can find your mastery and move forward in accordance with your own will. There's your reading for the week. I want to thank you so much. Now, if you would like to have a private reading with me in person here in Palm City or in Fort Lauderdale or in Connecticut, or by phone, Skype, FaceTime, or Messenger, all you have to do is reach out. You can private message me here, or you can give me a call or a text. My number is 561-655-1160. Check me out online on my website, christianagaudet.com. I thank you all so much for being here. Have a great week, everyone. Take good care.